Today, another investor who's brand new to the Cleveland market asked me to run the numbers on a triplex that he saw online. Randy, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Randy, the property that you saw online, 3358 West 48th, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. This is a triplex. It was a, a mixed use building. You know, one of your main concerns right off the bat, you were concerned about the zoning because it, it was originally a mixed use building. Uh, they converted that retail space. You know, it was retail on the ground and then it had uh, two apartments. They converted that retail space to all residential. Uh, I would not be too worried about that. That is actually very, very common in this neighborhood. A lot of these buildings, you know, just the way this neighborhood is, uh, you know, the neighborhood can't really support a lot of these like small retail shops, or retail establishments. Uh, so to actually get a valuable use out of these buildings, you need to do exactly what the previous owners of this building did. You need to convert that over to an apartment, to a residential space. So what we're working with right now is a building that has three residential units. I don't see any cause of concern for you to worry about that zoning issue. Another one of your goals with this building, you know, you wanted to go in, you wanted to purchase it, you wanted to do the rehab, and eventually you wanted to pull the money out, uh, you know, obtain a 30-year mortgage on the property. And your goal from your email to me was you wanted to still, after pulling out all the money, get $500 a month of net cash flow after paying off your mortgage. Uh, to purchase this property. So that, that's your goal there. Uh, as far as this deal itself, I'm going to just right off the bat, I'm going to tell you this deal is James Wise approved because you are going to be able to accomplish that goal. Uh, we're going to be running through the numbers. I'm going to run through them here for you shortly. But before I even get into the numbers, I wanted to address another concern. Uh, it looks like you've been following a lot of my content. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that you've been watching the content and you already are familiar with the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. For anyone else who's watching this video that I've made for Randy here, you know, this is what I do. I analyze properties for you guys. I'll break them down for you. What we're talking about is the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I put a link to that in the show notes below. Uh, it's a comprehensive guide where I grade all the neighborhoods in Cleveland on an A to F scale. Randy, you've been watching my content and you see that I did grade this area as a D-class neighborhood. And you're, you're right on the money. That's exactly what I consider this to be. This is a D-class asset. Uh, a lot of times I tell you guys to stay away uh, from D and F class assets, but I actually really do like this neighborhood. Um, again, this deal, in my opinion, it's James Wise approved. I think the property is gonna accomplish your goals uh, and I like the neighborhood. Even if on paper there was a property in like an F neighborhood that would still on paper cash flow more than 500 a month, I would tell you not to do that deal. Uh, but I like this area. I'm very familiar with this neighborhood. You know, we've got hundreds of units in this neighborhood, Holton Wise does, that we manage every day. The tenant base, you know, I'm even going to like go so far as to say it's like a high D, right? Like, the tenant base is, ma is manageable. Uh, yeah, you're gonna deal with evictions, you're gonna deal with tenants from hell, stuff like that, but, but the tenant base is definitely manageable. Uh, so like, you know, my company, for instance, we would have no problem managing this property for you. Like I said, we're hundreds of units in this area. Uh, another key thing to this area, my opinion of this area, and this is, this is like totally speculation. So, you know, I don't have a crystal ball. I feel like, you know, of anyone in the world though, you know, I have my, uh, you know, my finger on the pulse of the Cleveland market. You know, I've got a ton of assets in the area. You know, I don't think you can find a person who's more experienced in this market than myself. Uh, and I like to think I make really good decisions with money in real estate. Uh, but again, I cannot tell the future. So this is still speculatory in nature. But I think this neighborhood 
is going to be the next hot spot in Cleveland. You see, you got Gordon Square, you got Ohio City, you got Tremont. When people hear about Cleveland, they hear about all the resurgence, those are the three neighborhoods they're talking about. The location of this neighborhood directly borders them. You know, I'm going to have my guy Tommy put some put a graph up on the screen so you can like really illustrate what I'm talking about here. We are right there, man. So we are running out of real estate. We are running out of assets for these folks to continue moving into those areas. You know, when gentrification happens, you know, it starts in a core and then it slowly expands. This is the most natural location for that gentrification to continue to expand. On top of that, you know, a big core thing in this neighborhood is Metro Hospital. They're currently putting in place a plan to spend, I think it's like $980 million, pretty close to a billion dollars uh, they're going to be putting into this neighborhood. So based on all that, I I'm targeting this area. You know, the prices are ridiculously cheap. The prices themselves are so cheap that, you know, you could take on that risk of a D neighborhood because like all this cool stuff I'm talking about, like gentrification, billion dollars coming into the area from Metro. Do not get caught up in that thinking that you're you're not still buying in a D-class neighborhood because you, you still are going to get a D-class asset. You're going to deal with some of those problems that D-class assets are going to present to you. You know, does this thing gentrify in five years, 10 years, 15 years? You know, I can't tell you exactly when that's going to happen. A lot of these things are in place. So I think it'll be sooner rather than later. But at the moment, you know, we're still in a D-class area. When the broker that listed this, you know, this property, it's, it's not listed by me. It's not a Holton Wise property. This was actually put on the MLS listed uh, by a REMAX agent. When they put it on the market, you know, I think they priced it just right, 24900 I don't think uh, that price point has taken into account any of my speculation or opinions on possible appreciation or anything like that. You know, they're just pricing that property. Uh, based on the risk of the neighborhood and the condition of the property. Now, one thing to note, Randy, if you're like a super analytical dude or like a right down to the numbers kind of guy, like an engineer kind of guy, this might not be an awesome uh, idea for you because there are going to be some serious unknowns here. Like I like the deal and I'm a numbers guy. Like I'm not selling uh, you know, like drapes, right? I'm not like a regular realtor. Like if, uh, you know, Randy, you decided to move to Cleveland one day and you and your wife, you wanted to buy a nice house in the suburbs. Uh, I would never drive you and her around and uh, like look at houses with you guys. That's not what I do. I sell investment property. I analyze, uh, rentals, you know, I sell money. I work with money. So I'm a numbers guy too. Uh, but I understand that there's some like serious unknowns. And with this property, there is uh, even more unknowns. The electrical system, the furnace, the hot water tanks. You know, when we get these REO, you know, these foreclosure properties that are listed on the MLS, you know, these are all bank owned, okay? These are not private party owned. These are bank owned properties. And, you know, they leave all the utilities off. They winterize the property. The water's, you know, off. When you do your inspection, because, you know, you're getting this analysis from me. This is great. And I, I'm breaking down strategy. I'm going to break down numbers for you. Uh, but, you know, number one, I'm not a home inspector. Okay. I'm a broker. I'm an investor. I am not a licensed home inspector. So whenever you buy out of state, I always encourage you to get a third-party inspection from a licensed home inspector. This analysis, uh, you know, ideally, especially if you're a new investor, what you should get on every property that you're buying is an analysis from me so I could talk to you about the strategy, the money, you know, talk about this as an investment vehicle, but you should also get an inspection. So you can get an inspector to really comb through everything on the building so you understand what's inside the four walls and what's outside the four walls. So inspections are always good, but with this one, Randy, uh, you know, so if you're like super, you have to know exactly what's going on. A, you know, we're in a D-class neighborhood, so there's gonna be just more variables because of the tenant base. Um, and I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, and then B, with the fact that this is a foreclosure, that this is a bank-owned property, what I'm trying to get to, rambling a little bit, is when you do your inspection, uh, they are not going to be willing to turn those utilities on for you. So your inspector is not going to be able to go in, and he's not going to be able to tell you if your furnaces work. He's not going to be able to tell you if your hot water tanks work. He's not going to tell you if there's going to be electrical issues. 
Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. You know, the water's off, the property's already been winterized. You know, maybe some point a pipe was, uh, you know, a pipe had some water and it was frozen and it cracked. We are not going to know that till we turn the water back on. Now, I said earlier, this is James Wise approved and it's going to hit your goals even after you pull the money back out and you do a 30 year mortgage. Uh, I expect you to still make over 500 a month and your actual return on investment is still very, very high. And in my calculations, I've actually uh, gone in and assumed you're going to replace all those because we just don't know. Uh, so actually, we might as well, you know, let's just get into the numbers. Uh, let me just break. I broke down all the numbers for you, and I just wanted to walk through this with you so you can see exactly what you're getting. Because, again, D-class area, but you're down for that risk right now. I love the neighborhood. I think it's going up. Um, and your goal was to make over 500 a month after you pull the money out. I absolutely think you'll be able to pull the money out. So like, let's just get into the exact numbers for you here. So your purchase price, 24,900. I think that was, you know, that was priced very, very well. I don't anticipate you being able to buy it, uh, for any less than 24,900. So let's just assume you're going to pay $24,900 a month for this. As far as income goes, Unit one, this is like, this is a big building, dude. This is 2,654 feet. Uh, so we have some pretty damn large units here. You know, also to another thing, just so you know, it's a very, very old building. This was built in 1890. Just, you know, some more info for you. But running through this, unit one is a one bed, one bath unit. Uh, I believe, you know, a solid market rent something that we can hit over and over and over is going to be 575 a month i would expect you to be able to rent that unit for 575 a month unit one one bed one bath unit two it's a two bed one bath i expect you to be able to rent you know holton wise we could you know do that once not to, you know you get some turnkey companies they could rent it like that once and then never again when it's not fresh you know i'm not going to give you inflated rents i think we could always as your pm always get you 650 a month for unit two and then unit three, that's a big unit. I am assuming that was the unit that used to be the retail unit. That's got to be a huge unit. Uh, that's four beds, one bath. I would anticipate you'll bring in $750 a month out of that. So total rents, you know, we're scheduled. I think you'll make $1,975 a month in your total rents. You know, you push that out yearly. Unit one, $6,900. Unit two, $7,800. Unit three, $9,000. Uh, so that's a total you know, rental income every year, $23,700, $23, actually, $23,700 of scheduled rent coming in per year. Your initial purchase price, $24,900, but there's much, much more, obviously. The first thing I want to do, we'll get into those upfront expenses. Now, looking through the photos that the REMAX agent went ahead and posted online, you know, it doesn't look bad. The units themselves, they look they look pretty, they don't look like horrible, but these kind of pictures are like a little deceiving. You know, you're not necessarily uh, gonna see like, they, they look almost like move in ready, but they're really not. Like you're gonna have to patch holes. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to paint. The floors themselves are pretty decent. I don't really think you gotta worry about replacing those floors, but there's definitely gonna be a decent little amount of rehab that needs to happen. Like one of the kitchens, like we're clearly, uh, missing some cabinets and stuff, but like nothing major. So just looking at this from the uh, information that I've gotten out of the MLS, I would pencil in an anticipated budget cosmetically to get all three of these units looking beautiful. I would say you're going to spend about 4k per unit. You know, one, two, and three, four thousand. So we got twelve thousand bucks right there. As I said earlier, this is a, a foreclosure. So when you get your inspection. You know, he's not, not he's not gonna be able to tell you exactly which furnaces work, which ones don't work. You know, the property went into foreclosure, so I'm not gonna guess that like everything's brand new. So I kind of went worst case scenario for you here. It's a three unit property, so you're looking at three hot water tanks, one thousand bucks a piece. So pencil in three K for that. Furnaces are usually running around three grand, so I'm penciling in nine thousand bucks, and I'm assuming we're gonna spend about three thousand bucks. Uh, to just make sure all the wiring's good, because I said earlier, it's an old, old-ass building, dude. Uh, 1890. So we're definitely going to want to have the electrician get up in there. Now, is it very possible that uh, a couple of these things do work? Yeah, absolutely. But, <clears throat> you know, it's foreclosure. 
I'm not a home inspector. I didn't get to get inside this property. Uh, and even if I did, you know, I'd, you'd want a home inspector to look at it. And even him, he's going to have unknowns because you can't turn them on and test them. So I think it's best to see if it works for you, worst case scenario. So that's what we did here. So we're looking at uh, one more thing too, the roof. It's a flat roof. These are big rubber flat roofs. The way these work, you know, usually somebody like puts them on and they'll go like 40, 50 years before like they tear it down and replace it. They just like put tar over and over and over. Uh, there is like a new product on the market. It came out a couple years ago. Uh, our Sherwin Williams reps that sell Holton Wise, all of our products, uh, you know, they, they turned us on to this product a year or two ago. It's like a, a coating um, and it's got a lifetime, you know, it's supposed to like be a lifetime. It's like a coating. You got to do some prep work to the roof, but then you could take this like clear coating and put it over. They're great for these flat roofs. Uh, assuming we have to do that because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm guessing this roof isn't like beautiful, right? It's foreclosure. That will probably run you about 15,000. So more or less, I'm giving you worst case scenario, assuming 4k per unit cosmetically, your total rental cost, we're looking at $42,000. I know in your email to me, you said you wanted to stay around 20k in renovations. So I know this is higher than that, but you'll be able to pull all that back out. And I'll get into that with you a little bit later. Just, just stay with me. I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you. Um, total purchase price, 24.9. Worst case scenario, renovation budget, 42,000. That's gonna take your total cost up to $66,900, okay? Remember that number, 66,900 bucks. That's what I think you're gonna need to get this thing 100% renovated, 100% rent ready, ready to bring in $1,975 a month or $23,700 a year. Now, of course, you're not going to make $23,700 a year. You got to operate the building and there's going to be some costs. <clears throat> so going through those costs with you, you're going to have a brand new property. So I do not anticipate you're going to have like a lot of repairs up front or anything of that nature or like regular monthly repairs. But what I did is I, I broke down the repair costs, your CapEx cost. I broke those down into like a monthly average. Uh, buildings like this, I would anticipate about 5% of those rents, you're going to be spending on average $98.75 a month on repairs and maintenance. And I also think you're going to you know, budget $98.75 a month on capital expenditures. Capital expenditures, those are not necessarily repairs like a tenant broke something. What that is is the major functions of the building, the roof, the furnaces, the hot water tanks. Like we know you put three new furnaces in here. We know those furnaces are all going to last about 30 years. And, you know, they are going to cost about $3,000 when you replace them. So what we're doing is we're taking that $3,000 cost. We're dividing it out. Uh, and that's your capital expenditure budget. Because, you know, every single building you buy, there's a certain life expectancy on that furnace. Every furnace, you know, brand new furnace, you've got 30 years. There's no furnace that's going to last forever. So it's eventually something you're going to have to replace. So when I give you a capital expenditure budget, that's what I'm doing. I'm factoring all that in. It's not like every single month you're going to spend $98.75. I'm just estimating that, right? So repairs, maintenance, $98.75. Capital expenditure budget, $98.75. You have to budget for vacancy and non-pay, dude. Every one of these tenants, they're, you know, they're not just going to pay every month. You know, We're managing this building. It's a living, breathing thing. You know, Sometimes people aren't going to pay. We're going to evict them. Stuff like that happens. Also factoring in another $98.75 for that. The taxes on this thing, uh, per the MLS listing, per what the listing agent had written, I put this down at... $192 a month. So of course, you know, that because that's an annual cost, 2,304 bucks. You know, that's what the uh, Remax agent there, that's what she had put on the uh, the MLS listing. Insurance, I think you're gonna spend about $80 a month. Could be higher, could be lower. Um, and again, with all these numbers, like this is not like set in stone. So again, like the numbers are important, but there is some unlimited, uh, amount of variables here so if you're like a right down the line and you want to know your exact return you know that's not for you man um the numbers i'm giving you are what i would expect this to do on, on a long-term basis you know properties like this you know i run a 50 million dollar portfolio this is what i see on average for properties like this what i'm telling you right now am i going to guarantee you that your property is going to perform exactly like this every year no your property could perform way better it could perform way worse 
This is just on average. And your property is going to be inconsistent. Like some years it'll perform better, but some years it'll also perform worse. You might have like three down years in a row and then have like six up years. So that's just the nature of the beast. And it becomes more variable. Uh, there, be, there becomes more unknowns uh, when you go down in that asset class. So even though I'm high on this neighborhood, again, it's still a D-class area. So that does make it even harder because the three tenants you have are going to be even more unpredictable than like in a B-plus neighborhood. So keep that in mind as I go through this with you. But insurance, penciling roughly 80 bucks. Uh, water and sewer, I'm going to guesstimate... On average, you're going to spend about $225 a month. I basically did an estimate for you of $75 a month per unit. That's typically what we're seeing uh, in these multifamily buildings when we have two-bed, one-bath units. Two-bed, one-bath units, they typically have two to three people, two adults, one child. Some have a little bit more, some have a little bit less. Uh, you got a one bed, a two bed, and a four bed. You know, your one bedroom unit, I'm assuming, is going to be definitely under that 75. Your two bed should be right around there, and your four bed is going to be above it. So I just kind of averaged it out. But, you know, water, sewer, man, that's, that's like super variable. Uh, you know, not every single person is going to treat water, sewer the same, right? You might get, a, a you know, two people that use more water than four people. Maybe they take long showers. Maybe they got kids. You know, how they do the dishes, dude. I don't know. So that's never something that you could totally hammer in. You know, I talk about unlimited amount of variables. Most variable thing ever is literally water sewer. I get a lot of investors that they, they want to buy properties like this and they want to see like historical data on water sewer of each unit. And I'm like, dude, why? What does that have, doesn't have to do with anything. Like you could have had somebody living in unit A uh, for five years and then as soon as they leave, Unit B, whatever Unit A was doing, like however long they took their showers or however much water those people used, doesn't have anything to do with what Unit B is. So you got to break that down as an average. Again, some years are going to be up, some years are going to be down, but 225, good estimate for you. Lawn care, I factored that in at 42 bucks a month. It costs $33 to, uh, to get your lawn cut with Holton Wise, and we typically do about 16 cuts a year. Obviously, you don't have to cut it uh, when there's snow on the ground. Um, so factoring all that in, you're looking at 42 bucks a month. That's the average if you average it out for the whole year. And then lastly, property management, you're going to be spending $197.50. Uh, Randy, if you, I'm assuming you know my fee structure because you're obviously very familiar with the content. Anybody else who's watching this on YouTube who's interested in getting a video like this, uh, there's going to be links in the show notes below. There's also going to be links in the show notes to our property management FAC. It will go over all of our property management pricing. But generally speaking, you're looking at $197.50 a month. Okay. So breaking everything down, those are all of our expenses. That is it. That is what I expect this property to do on average every month. Rent, $1,975. Our expenses I'm anticipating are going to be $1,032.75 a month. That's going to bring us our, our the big number, the big important number, our net income, our cash flow, the amount of money that you are making when you buy this, Randy. I'm expecting you to make $942.25 a month or annually $11,307 a year. That is your that's your return, right? That's the amount of money that you're making. That's a pretty decent chunk of money. You are hoping to make 500 a month uh, with your mortgage payment. I haven't included mortgage yet, but it's still going to hit that. Uh, so we're, we're doing pretty good here. If you just look at this, because remember, purchase price, 24900 Total rental cost, 42000 So our, our total investment, $66,900. And at the end of the day, we're making 11307 dollars uh, a year that puts this property at a cap rate 16.9 that's a great cap rate and if you wanted to go ahead and get a 30-year mortgage you know it's still going to accomplish all your goals you know i'm assuming like it could possibly appraise for a little bit more than what you have in it i don't want to tell you that it's going to appraise for like 80k and it's like the best bird deal ever and you end up with like no money into this thing so i'm just going to go ahead and anticipate uh, they will appraise for what you have into it. I, it, it's very possible it could be more. Um, but you know, the surrounding properties in the neighborhood, you know, 
they're going to hold the value down. It's still D-class. Uh, you know, if you were to do the refi like now, as opposed to 10 years from now, when I anticipate there to be more gentrification, you could get two totally different numbers. Uh, so just to like give you like a safe estimate, I'm just going to assume that you're going to get it to appraise for the amount of money you put into it, 66900 And you do it on a 30-year loan. You know, I'm just going to estimate... Uh, that your interest paint your interest rate rather is going to be four point five percent, and you could do you, what you could do you punch all these numbers in to a mortgage calculator. We actually have a mortgage calculator for you guys to use for free. Head on over to holtonwise.com, click the tools and resources tab, and I got a mortgage calculator there for you. You just plug in your numbers, and you get the numbers that I'm giving to you here. So, assuming thirty year loan, four and a half percent interest rate. Uh, your down payment on these non-owner occupied properties is going to be 25%. So if we're going for a total value here, 66900 that's going to be a down payment. That's your cash. Your cash out of pocket is going to be $16,725. Your total mortgage is going to be, you know, what, what the bank is lending uh, to you is going to be $50,175. So that's what you're getting back. So all that you ended up into the deal was 16725 And I believe you said you'd want it to be in for less than 20 k So you're in the deal for less than 20 k You're only out of pocket after you refi out $16,725. You're making $11,307 a year in total income. It puts you at a 16.9 cap as far as cash on cash return. It's actually a 68% cash on cash return. Uh, factoring in those mortgage payments, you know, you're going to be paying 255 no, $254 a month uh, for your principal and interest. So you're going to be, you know, paying down the loan, you're spending $3,048 a year paying down the loan. Your monthly cash flow, remember I said it was $942.25. So if you factor in your monthly cash flow, all right, so if you factor in rather, uh, not your monthly cash flow, if you factor in that mortgage payment, that $254, your cash flow, you know, your net cash flow after you pay your mortgage, still above your goal of five hundred, because you're gonna be putting in your pocket every month $688. 25 a month 688 25 a month so that's what you're getting you're spending all that money you're getting it to refi back out you're only into this deal for sixteen thousand seven hundred twenty five dollars and when all the dust settles you're paying down that mortgage and i'm still anticipating you're putting six hundred eighty eight dollars and twenty five cents in your pocket that's why this deal is James Wise approved. That's why I like this deal for you. That's why I think this deal accomplishes all of your goals. Uh, but again, the risk factor here is that the neighborhood is a little rougher. Do I think it's going to get better? Yes, uh, but it's still rough right now. I do not want you to say James said in stone I'll be making six eighty eight twenty five a month every month because I don't anticipate that to be uh, what's going to happen. Again, some years will be better, some years will be worse. Some turnovers will be better, some will be worse. We could get some crazy tenant from hell in there who trashes a unit and you gotta spend 10K getting them out of there. Uh, is that the norm? No. Do I think that's gonna happen to you, uh, you know, every other tenant? No, I don't. But I do want you to prepare yourself that those things do happen. The lower in the quality of assets you buy, the more frequently they happen. So, ton of upside on this deal. Uh, Price very, very well, uh, but you know there are some risk factors out there. But all in all, man, I like the deal for you. I think it accomplishes all your goals. I think you'll be well suited to purchase the property. Uh, I hope, Randy, I answered all your questions. Uh, I tried to hit everything um, that you had asked me uh, in your email to me after you purchased your analysis. If there is anything that I left out, Randy, go ahead and just you know put it in the comments below. And I will touch on that as well. Uh, for the rest of you watching the video, you know, if you like this video, if you thought this was educational, if you'd like to get an analysis like this, you can go to HoltonWise.com, links in the show notes, and you can purchase an analysis. I am the number one seller of rental property in Cleveland. Sign up to my mailing list if you're not already on it. I send out deals every single day, and I include a video tour 
uh, everything that we have and we break these things down so you guys know what to buy as investors. But I understand there's still 5,000 other realtors in the Cleveland market. And even though I'm bringing more properties to the market than anybody else, you know, there, there's still a lot of properties out there, you know, that I haven't offered to you. So what my man Randy did, you know, he was probably Zillow, Realtor.com, just cruising along other brokerage sites. And he saw this property. He thought it could be a good investment, uh, but he's out of state. He doesn't know Cleveland. So he did the right thing. He shot me an email. He purchased analysis and I could break it down for him. Now, Randy, if you want, uh, since you got an analysis from me, if you want me to represent you as your buyer's agent, you know, we could do that. We could put in the offer for you. Uh, if you want to go directly to the listing agent over at Remax, man, you could do that too. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, you know, I give you my unbiased opinion. Uh, you know, I like money. So if you want me to represent you, you know, I got no problem uh, collecting a paycheck off of this. But, you know, there are advantages to going directly to the listing agent. The listing agent will make more money on this deal uh, if, you know, the buyer comes to them directly. They don't have to share commission with somebody like me. So you may even be able to get a better deal. It's up to you, though. I've given you all the information. I've given you all the value. I think I can really add to this deal. So you have it all. And I will not be offended in any way if you went directly to that listing agent. But again, anybody else watching this, uh, I recommend you do what Randy did, man. If you see, uh, you should definitely sign up to all my stuff to get my properties. But if you see stuff out there from other agents or brokers, just you know, shoot me an email, purchase an analysis. I'll break down the deal exactly like I did here for my man Randy. And uh, from there, take the information, do what you want. You want me to represent you, I can. You want to go right to the listing broker or the wholesaler or whoever the hell uh, gave you the property. That is totally cool with me, man. I'm just here to educate you guys. That's the purpose of this channel, making investors better, You know, making people aware of exactly what we have in the Cleveland market. You can make a crap ton of money investing in real estate. I love the business, but it's tough. It's filled with risk. It's not all Lamborghinis like a lot of other guys out there on the internet are going to lead you to believe. So that's why I do what I do here on this channel. That's why I show you guys the tennis from hell content. I break down the negatives of these properties because, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's a great business, but you got to know what you're doing. You don't want to go into this blind. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, holding wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, 
Fulton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.